Right. Um, yeah, 315 was just going to walk from the mess to our tent when I heard some strafing and looked up and saw five kites diving, diving and in other altitudes strafing our drone. I dived for shelter and as one of the kites passed overhead recognised it was a P-47 Thunderbolt. The damn Yanks again. <laughs> yeah, they haven't got a clue. I hopped in a car and dashed down to the drone to see damage done. My Butte B was in flames, another was damaged and one chappy killed and two others wounded. Slim, Kev and Merv Beck were the luckiest lads alive as bullets bounced all around them. Slim had a small scratch and that was Arthur's mechanic. And I, I asked one of the chappies yesterday what Slim got his MID for, you okay. see, and I, I haven't known whether it was here. Slim and Kev taxied BAE and P out of harm's way and dropped, I reckon this is where he got it, and dropped the bomb which B was carrying. And dropped the bomb, yes. Uh, we got the stock out of, stock? Clock. Oh, we, ah. Oh, we got the clock out of B. My, oh, I can't read his writing. My kit, which was supposed to have been in B, was not there. So as Donaldson's, so as Donald's, Donaldson, so as Donaldson's was in it. Ah, oh, Donaldson's kit must have been the aircraft. Was in it. His was burnt. Wing Ops had several bullet holes and wings, Wing Ops officer Kittle, Kittle mm -hmm. got one in the shoulder. The walrus pilot was killed. He has saved 17 yanks for the, from the drink so far and that's what they do to him. <laughs> ops today, 130 hours, yes, this is 130 ah, hours ops. Okay. Ops to go out 8 hours 15 minutes. Total ops 191.45. Aircraft to Jean, wasn't I lucky. Now that he As, come back the yeah. following day? So this is the 20, that's the 29th of April when that happened then. 44, yeah. And then he's just noted it in his log book there. It was after he'd been on ops apparently. Okay. Because he said just walking from from the mess to the, his tent. Now the next day, I was lead to hold, lead the squadron today for the far, first time. And our call was 065. <laughs> By lunchtime a great deal of sand was blowing so flying was definitely out. After lunch one of the Yanks came in and landed with his P-47. Yeah, the Lance, or perhaps it's the Lance Corporal. He was supposed to have landed with his CR. The CO, leader yeah. of yesterday's strafing. Oh, the OC, the... Well, the OC, something there, the leader of yesterday's strafing effort. Efforts. Yes. They received a very cool reception from all the chaps. <laughs> Took several snaps of his kite. 52. The lads were going to paint a round hill <laughs> alongside <laughs> the swastika. <laughs> dozens and dozens of bomb bombers have been coming back. This afternoon from away up north, someone has received a hiding. Duty officer tonight at Wing, so we'll be able to catch up on some of, some of my correspondence. And believe me, there's quite a bit to be done. Had a look through Johnny Walker's Snap album. It's very good too. Also saw the reports of yesterday's strafing. Do by the Yanks. 
right to peg long mars sepulled elf smiths and so on so on so on so well he committed suicide that day so does he go on to yes say he doesn't say No, he doesn't say you wouldn't think he'd want that the fellow would have waited till no. another two days. Doesn't say yeah. Yeah, so that's his description there of of the strafing, mm -hmm. if that'll help. It might come out quite clear with your camera. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yes, now. That was the aircraft 52, that was the Thunderbolt that strafed. Uh, yes. Was it in action? Yeah, this is the... Oh, these are... oh yes, there's a plate of Nicky Bar there too. Yes, so that was a bit of detective work to find. Very well done. You took copies of the photos from the album, didn't mm. you, for that good? Yes, if I would. Gosh. <laughs> I laugh, but... But these are the times I do wish that I had, uh, you know, some of the photos around. In fact, I, I went and threw out a pile of negatives. I, oh, box off them. And I said, what's the good of going through all of those... They were, you know, negatives of photos he'd taken. Mm -hmm. But then again, see, you could sit down and go through and might find something. Yeah, there he is. You can't mistake him. The yeah. old version. There's his wife, Dot. Bruce Birchfield, he's still alive. He was in... Um, uh, Com flight when uh, you know the rest flight they mm -hmm. had after ops. Arthur, Bruce's wife, um, or oh, the names on the back, the other chap, Ron Matthews is no longer with us. He's passed on, has he? Yes, he took his wife took these photos. Elvie Birchfield, Arthur D, Lana and Ted Savage. That's right, Lana and Ted. They lend their property for three squadron reunions in Melbourne. Okay. Every, well, for the Christmas day, a Christmas party, I think they have. They've got a property out at Lilydale mm -hmm. somewhere, and they always lend the squadron that. So, and that was Padre Davies. Uh, he became Bishop of Tasmania. He was the Church of England one. And Fred Mackay... There he is. There's a service for him tomorrow at Scott's Church. Okay. Uh, he died, what, 10 days ago, age 92. Right. And he... Uh, now, McNamara, there's a photo. McNamara was the Catholic one. Mackay was the Methodist. The yeah, there they are standing in front of them, I think, somewhere. Or, or around, that's around the room anyway. Oh, and David Lester was at the service this morning. Um, 
and I was going to go and speak to him and then I turned around and I couldn't find him. So, But his photo's in here. He's the one I think arranged the uh, uh, display at Centennial Park. Yes, that's right. Mm. So that clock then is... Came from? Yes, exactly. Yeah. So oh, that's, of course. It's now got a good history yes. behind it. Yes. I'll just get a... So whether the... Close up if I can. Yeah, you can just vaguely see if it's... Yes, I'd better keep that page. Oh, April the 29th, I remember that, that that's the page in the diary. It's still working after all these years. Yes. I wind it every Friday. 30 winds and it lasts the week. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so he brought this back with him with the clock. So. Well... I wonder whether he got the mirror off at the same time. Oh, no, it doesn't say there. Rescue this clock. It doesn't say about the mirror, so I don't know really where that came from at all. No idea. Because there's just nothing, is there? Nothing. No, not on about that, that at all. No, and no reference there to a mirror. No. Then um, that was the Sicilian campaign, um, and I think it's in here. No, right. Mm. That was they had stinking Miller. That was that was Padre McNamara there. Ted Henke, Arthur. Oh, I can't, oh, that fellow. Um, can't remember his name. Yeah. Okay. Another, Robert Taylor was the artist of that. Okay. So Arthur signed that one, did he? No, no, that's... What is that, Desert Hawks? Oh, CBB, that was Bobby Gibbs, wasn't it? Number 30, oh, yes, it might have, I don't, um, 44, yes, of course it was, 44 May, June, oh, I will find it, find it here somewhere. Who's not landing in a fair child? He's got three long books, hasn't he? Oh, he's got three or four there because he did a lot of light aircraft flying from 1960 okay. up until his heart, heart operation. Mm. And he was uh, hoping to be the oldest licensed <laughs> pilot, you know. <laughs> and of course, he passed all the medical, but DCA wouldn't pass it with a heart. Yeah. Condition, heart operation, you see. Yeah. The, the medical passed him as fit, but no, not when you've had a heart operation. Here we are. Miss Cowles, Rome to Castiglione, Daily Telegraph war correspondent. Mrs. Hemingway, and, oh, wife of famous... Ernest. Uh, Mrs. Hemingway, famous Ernest Hemingway, Collier's Weekly War correspondent. Uh, there was something else about Martha Gellhorn. Let's go to her. Mm -hmm. Cowles, anyway. No, he had another. Oh, here, Cowles and Hemingway there. Mr Lumley, Major somebody. Who was he flying, the Fairchild? Oh. Uh, yes, and it, it, for, it flew a fair, quite a few different aircraft mainly Fairchild's here, in comm flight, communications mm -hmm. flight. And they just flew VIPs and everybody everywhere okay. for six months. And then then he was expecting either a posting home or to London mm -hmm. or to England. Yes. And he got his posting home. Mm. And then he did uh, 
instructing number two ATU at Mildura Operation Training Unit. Yes. Uh, and then he was due for his posting to New Guinea when the uh, or up north when the, <laughs> when the war ended. Um, so that was. When did he take you for a flight? At Mildura. That was Mildura. Yeah, that was Mil. Oh, that's in here somewhere. And what was that in? In a Wirraway. Oh, I was in a Wirraway. You've been up in a Wirraway. There I am, wow. sitting up the front cockpit with a helmet goggles. Uh. <laughs> oh, well, golly, if we got found out, wouldn't we? You've been in strife. Did you thoroughly yeah. enjoy it? Uh, a friend, a friend, he lives at Newry, the, or came from Newry, at the Ron Wiedenbeck. Mm -hmm. He drove me out there and Arthur flew the aircraft out to the <laughs> landing ground. I dressed up and then I got, oh golly. Yes, if we'd been found out, that would have been court martial, I reckon, sticking, a, sticking its wife into an aircraft <laughs> and taking her for a drive. Uh, oh, that, that was the uh, King's uh, group, you know, that were there. They, the Comet Flight flew them. Um, no. Freiburg. Um, he flew the head of the Polish army and um, what was his name? Is it here? And he used to lend Arthur his beautiful unit in Rome. Oh, <laughs> yeah, when he was on leave. Um, oh, Arthur said he was fabulous. Um, wait a minute. The no, I can't remember for the minute. No. Sorby. No, that's not the one. Charles Porto, Sir Keith Slicia, Slissel. He was some um, high up. No, I can't see. Oh, he flew him several times. No. Who was the most well known person that he would have flown? Uh, oh, Lord, who would it be? Quite a number, I suppose. Well, I suppose the King's group actually. Um, no, I can't see this. Yes, General Selby was in RFC last war, shot an awful line. <laughs> Okay, here we are, 26 of the 7th, 44. Um, Arthur later served with Desert Air Force Communications Unit and had yeah. the pleasure of flying King George, known as Colonel Kent, Colonel on an Kent. inspection. Actually, I, th they've, I think they've really got that wrong. He flew the aid. Arthur flew the aid. Right, because they've um, got a few things wrong here I've yes. been picking up on. Um, yes, yeah. he's got it. Yeah, wait a minute. What was the date of the date? The date was 26 of the 7th, 44. 7th, that's July. July yeah. August, July. 26th. Here it is. Colonel Kent, 13. Oh, Colonel Kent, the king was known as Colonel Kent. Actually, Arthur's got that in himself, but he didn't fly. His Majesty George the Sixth Aquarii, a very memorable day's flying. Took several close ups of His Majesty. Um you you saw I think the photos were in the album and yes. he's got them. The photos in the yes. album, you know, taken from or oh, I suppose here to there, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um I think really here. No, he didn't. He flew the Aquarii, George okay. V's Aquarii. But here he's got Colonel Kent. I think, he just, I think he just made a note that the king was known as Colonel Kent in that. 
and that's the query, that the one that he flew. General Anders was the Polish. He was in an Austin. Oster three, yes, yeah, see that was Osters and Fairchilds. Yes, click on cows and this is Hemingway. Oh, they flew all, all types from the lowest to the top, you know. Mm -hmm. If they had to be taken from here to there, that was what communications flight was for. Jim, that's when he... No, they're Jim. Fair child, fair child, fair child. What about this day? General Adler. Oh, no, he didn't. He flew General Sutton. General Sutton. And he was one of the big chiefs, the General Fairchild. King, General McIntyre, Brigadier, somebody, Mac oh, McIntyre there. Um, oh, that was the bombing of Monte Cassino. Oh, no, the, after it had been bombed. Landed. No, it's just... Hmm. What about this day, the tarps and razor blades story? Yes, they they did bombing. Now, it doesn't give a date there, no. does it? makes it hard. What have I signed that for? Oh, that was quite a while, just in, uh, in memory. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> in memory of that. I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, wait a minute, that would have been... Doesn't give a date, does it? No. Oh, hang on, here we are. On the 10th of March, 1943. Oh. Yes. May. Oh, that's a shame that wouldn't be in his diary, would it? 43, because it's only 44. 40. Yeah, here we are, 8 March. February, March the 14th. 43. 43, we want the 10th of March. February, February. February, February. March. Yeah, 8th, 9th, 10th. 10th. Strath, oh, motor transport, yes. At well, Castle Villain or something. Just this would have been Strafed Convoy on Road. Confirmed. Five Flamers. Oh, there it is about it. Um, Flying a kitty hawk. What number was he in that day? Um, solo. FL two eighty eight. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Mm. Two eighty eight. There. Mm. Okay, strafing, major transport. And it was this yeah. adventure here. I wonder if I've got those. Did ever, Arthur ever mention what his most memorable experience was? Oh, Lord. I mean, is there anything he talked about more than... He didn't talk a lot. Oh, that's where I wish sometimes I think. 
And I suppose if people were here, I still wouldn't ask. Yeah. You, know. <laughs> you know, they're just times I think, oh, I wish I'd asked him about that. I'd love to, mm. you know, different things. And yet... Have you got on well with Nicky Barr? Oh, yes, wonderfully well. With yeah. Him. Yeah, yeah, wonderfully well with Nicky. He was, he was beautiful. Um, and you were saying Nicky oh. flew for Bobby Gibbs after? Yes. The war. And yeah, and that was interesting. I had, we had the book, it was when, that would be 30 years ago, because it wasn't long after we came up here to live, mm -hmm. and it was, it's all different down there now, but there was a, a, where the paper shop used to be, it was a news agent and bookshop and everything yes. else, and that's where we got the book, um, I'm sure it was called Seapic Pilot, Okay. and Arthur lent it to somebody, and don't ask me who, we've never got it back. Mm. That's happened to several books, you know. That's you, a shame. You do, yes, it's a pity you lend them and they don't oh. come back and then you forget about it. I oh, know, so that's the worst part. It, um, but I'd love to have Seapic Pilot again. I might ask it, there's a place in town, Adelaide Booksellers, they'll always get old, you know, look up, try and get yes. old books for you. They're worthwhile. Um, no, I don't know what would have been his most... No, I don't know. I would say the most, oh, if you say the most interesting, was probably flying with Comflight. It wasn't, you weren't in, you weren't fighting, you weren't in, you know. Mm. And yet I suppose the danger was there of being shot at anyway, you yeah. know, by an enemy aircraft. Yes. Uh, no, that Comflight would have been, the most interesting, I would say, because, mm -hmm. you know, you met a lot of different people, whereas mm. in, in the squadron, you know, you were with the same yeah. chaps all the time. Mm. But Comflight, you did meet different people. Um, I don't know. He was very fortunate. There were friends of ours here before he went away uh, who knew the manager of Shell Company in Cairo, Mr Breeley. And Arthur, oh, Arthur got to know the Breeleys very well when he was on leave. He'd go mm -hmm. there, you know, quite a lot and <laughs> see them. So he was very fortunate sort of having a family mm. that, you know, in, that were not involved in the war that he yeah. could see in a, in a strange city. Um, Excellent. He had, ex he had, then he did a gunnery course down at Khartoum. That was before, I think that was before he went up to the squadron. Mm -hmm. And then, I uh, don't know. Okay, what I might no. just do is grab a photograph. Yeah. Um, spot on.